Hey guys, what is up and welcome to another video in the Browser War series. Today I'm going to be covering Opera 10.6 which is a much improved version of their web browser. Um, there's a lot of features in here reminiscent of Google Chrome and Firefox and quite a few independent features as well so I'm just going to be running you through some of the main ones. Very similar to the Firefox 4 beta here we have this new menu system up in the corner uh, it's the red with the uh, the Opera logo and the Firefox one is orange to symbolize the Firefox. Uh, these both have the menu functions in them, all of the usual menu functions that you'd find in the file to help uh, sections of the browser. Also the tabs are all the way up here. Uh, I'm not sure where the tab placement was in the last version of Opera but uh, this is how I like it personally it depends on preference really but I think this is where the tab should be in Firefox 4 as well because we have all this wasted space up here so I think Opera has done a good job there of maintaining that large area for browsing and keeping the user interface to a minimum and putting the tabs up here has really helped to shave all that extra space off the buttons here are reminiscent of Google Chrome 5 and you have the next button here which takes you to the next available uh, web page on the page that you're on currently we have the standard backwards and forwards refresh and home buttons the address bar here and the search bar which again I do think can be implemented into just one universal bar like in some other browsers in Firefox they're still separate but in Google Chrome the uh, the address bar serves as a Google search as well which is what I think other browsers should start adopting because it just makes the interface look a lot more unified but also again there's positive aspects to this here we can see that I can change the search engine to Google, Bing, Amazon, eBay, Ask, Yahoo, Wikipedia and you can add more as well so there's that aspect where you can actually change it without going through the actual browser settings like you have to do in Google Chrome. So also we have the uh, the tabs are very nicely presented as you can see it's showing me previews of the web pages as I hover over them in this very nice animations going on here this is something that's not really part of many other web browsers you see lots of uh, web browsers doing similar things but you don't really see this this is very similar very reminiscent to what Windows does in the uh, quick view in the taskbar up here we have the closed tab section which allows you to reopen closed tabs uh, using or you could use the control shift T function which I do use in Chrome very often that will be um, if you look back into my older videos that will be in my Chrome shortcuts video the control shift T feature and I think there is an option to remove this button here as well which is you know always good because this browser is very customizable you have options for the appearance there's all the panels here toolbars you can change the placement of the toolbars if I click on one of the toolbars it will let me change the placement of it and it will outline it here in yellow to show me which toolbar I'm dealing with and literally everything can be changed it's very customizable very expandable and just like Firefox you can get plenty of widgets and additions for this as well along the bottom bar here we have the panels section and if we click that it brings this panel up here and you can bring out the bookmark section the widget section we have the unite here notes just for general notes downloads the history of the browser and you can add the panels there so that's pretty much that down here are the interesting newer features of the browser you have opera link it tells you more about it here which synchronizes your speed dials bookmarks notes and other useful data between all of your computers so this is very handy because it sort of allows you to change and implement all of your current bookmarks and speed dial operations into all computers in your home network. Opera Unite is also very interesting because it allows you to share files without uploading anything to the internet. It says here this is a technology platform allowing you to share co content directly with friends without having to upload anything to a website. 
With Opera Unite applications, you can stream music, share photo galleries, files and folders, or even host your own web pages directly from your browser. So this will be very handy if you want to share any sort of file or photo over the internet without having to upload it to a site such as Flickr or you know any, any file sharing website and without your friend or relative having to download anything extra to be able to view it. Also here we have Opera Turbo which is a feature that enables um, a, a boost in your browsing speed when you're using Wi-Fi hotspots or tethered mobile slow dial-up connections etc. There's more about it somewhere here I did just read about it and it did sort of give you more of a in-depth view on what speed dial actually is. I'll put it up here. Here we go. Opera Turbo is a server-side optimization and compression technology that speeds up data transfer and reduces the amount of data that needs to be downloaded in order to view the page up to 80% faster. Among other means, the compression is achieved by image downsampling, therefore some level of distortion in graphics may occur. Essentially what this does is, when you're on a slow connection, you click the turbo boost and it loads everything much quicker because it cuts corners in the graphics and etc. It's very handy if you need to get on certain websites with, with ease when you're using a slower dial-up connection or very crowded Wi-Fi hotspot. Another thing that is always welcome is the speed dial section here. Like I said, this is something they should implement into Firefox rather than just a blank page. It's already in Chrome and Safari. Uh, basically, this is all of the bookmarks you want here. And you can add a web page, you can add any web page from your frequently visited pages, the ones that you have open or Opera sites themselves. And you have some of the features down here as well. Another few worthwhile mentions in Opera 10.6 is the smooth scrolling. I'll give you an example here. I'm on Engadget in Google Chrome and I'm on Engadget in Opera 10.6. In Engadget we can see on Google Chrome that as I scroll it's just simple lock to place scrolling here. It's just very simple. Every time I tap the scroll wheel it locks into the next position. Whereas in Opera this is not the case, it's much smoother as you can see I'm doing individual taps and it's very smooth scrolling at full speed you can notice this as well you can tell straight away that the scrolling is a lot smoother here than it is here you can see this is very jerky motion and this is a very sort of smooth scrolling uh, sort of reminiscent of Safari and uh, when you're using the magic mouse on a Mac like I said, this browser is very, very customizable. If you go on the appearance, you can change the uh, size of the panels. For instance, if I go onto the toolbars, I show the tab bar here. You can change it so there's only images up here. You can change it so there's only text. You can change it so there's images and text below, images and text on the right, which is the standard. And also, you can pin tabs and you can clone the tabs which I find a very um, a very interesting feature because I use this a lot in Google Chrome which is in Google Chrome you can duplicate the tab which is the same feature and this is very useful and something I didn't see in Firefox 4 also you can create a new private tab which is the same as incognito mode in Google Chrome and also you can drag, click and drag this handle here to extend the tab section so that you can have thumbnails for all your tabs with these smooth animations and you can see the thumbnails and you can click and drag that back up into normal tabs at any stage. So this concludes my video on Opera 10.6. I hope you've enjoyed it and stay tuned for more in the Browser Wars series.